Thanksgiving now just six days away and at this point your holiday plans are probably all set where you're going what you're eating. Although many of our neighbors may not have that luxury and may not be able to have a warm meal on Thanksgiving and that's where the KDK TV Turkey Fund and your donations to it come in. Tonight, as we approach the holiday, we here at KDKA want to say thanks to the man who started this whole thing 40 years ago. Here's David Highfield and a few familiar faces from KDKA's past with a special tribute to the late Al Julius. You gave over $400,000 to Julius's turkeys. Over $40,000 $10 certificates were distributed. Over 40,000 tables. We'll have a turkey tomorrow. We'll have a Thanksgiving tomorrow. What we know today is the KDKA TV Turkey Fund actually began as Julius's Turkeys. Good morning, Al Julius Turkey. What is your sip, please? And was started by this man, the late KDKA TV news commentator Al Julius. It was 1982 as the region's steel industry began to decline and mill after mill closed, leaving so many local people unemployed. A viewer named Ms. Love sent Al $10 and asked him to use it to buy food for our neighbors in need at the holidays. It was important to have this done at that particular time because, again, you were talking at that time with mills closing, a lot of people being hungry, and you had to, and it was something that had to be done. And it was done, and I'm very proud of it. That first year, Al raised $90,000. It just grew and grew and grew from that. Well, I mean, the most beautiful letters would be the third or fourth year where I'm sending you $10 and another $10 because I took $10 from you two years ago. Now, 40 years later, all told, we're about to hit the $20 million mark, something Al couldn't have ever imagined, according to these three folks you might remember, former KDKA TV news reporters Lynn Sawyer, Mary Rob Jackson, and Harold Hayes. Oh, he'd be so proud for one thing. Right. I think he would. I think he would. Very proud. And I think he would, he would have said, you know, the Pittsburgh area is going to respond. He wouldn't have known the numbers. Nobody could have imagined that. All three of them worked alongside Al and got together recently to share their memories of him. Has never been or will ever be another Al Julius. He had a gruff exterior. Yes. He had a soft heart for regular folk. The community meant everything to him. None of them can believe four decades have passed. It's hard to believe that we're talking how many years later about one small gesture that somebody started with, one little thing that has meant so yeah, much so many. to so many families in our area and still does. And these days, people need it more than ever. It says something that the station still continues that kind of effort, knowing that our viewers are more than just rating points. They are part of our community. They're our neighbors. But they all know Al would be so grateful for all of you who continue to support the Turkey Fund year after year. I think he would certainly uh, talk uh, about the folk out there who have been putting money in envelopes and dropping it by their bank and um, uh, for all these years. And he really would have passed it off as, well, that's the community we live in. Right. Yes. You know, that so is, that's why it happened. And you know what? He that's take credit. That's absolutely true. And they're also pretty sure Al would be amused by the fact that we're honoring him and paying tribute to this extraordinary thing that he created. He would think this is very funny. Oh, he would. That, that He's the up there laughing us. at us right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah. It, you know, it really, he, he would be saying like Patty used to, let me up. Let yes, me. <laughs> yes, let me up. It's so true. But the, but the fact is, you know, we're celebrating Al all these years later, and that's a wonderful thing, isn't it? What a legacy. I mean, really. And now a final thought from Al. The day after Thanksgiving 1982, that very first year of the turkey fund, as only Al could deliver it. And thousands and thousands did get a chance to eat turkey to enjoy, and they, they never would have eaten or enjoyed if we had stood around and done nothing. And by we, I don't mean we. I mean we. Without that kind of we, nothing could have, would have happened. And I pray to God that I don't have to do this again and that by next year they'll all be working again. But if I do, if I do, then I know that you, you will be there again because that's the way it is with family, our family. Damn, you're a great family and I love you all. There was only one L. Julius. He was unique. 
He was forced. He was on. You listened to him. He you commanded your attention, and this was important to him. And uh, what a legacy! Al died in 2002, and all of us here at KDK remain committed to continuing his work every Thanksgiving. Yeah, and because of that, Al will always be with us. And now is your chance to pitch in and help us continue Al's work. Please donate to the KDKA TV Turkey Fund. You can see all the ways to donate on your screen right now. But the easiest way is just to go to kdka.com slash turkey fund. And as always, thank you so much for your continued support of the KDKA TV Turkey Fund. And we also want to mention we've posted Al's entire commentary from that day after Thanksgiving in 1982. It's on the Turkey Fund section of kdka.com. Yeah, we hope you'll watch it. It's just so incredible. He has just a gift for words and connection with people. Indeed.